Welcome back to the interview question series in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Today, we're diving into a question you're likely to encounter in tech interviews. What's the difference between deep learning and machine learning? So, let's start. We will first look at the hierarchy of AI concepts. Artificial intelligence represents the broadest concept, covering any technique that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. Within this vast field, machine learning emerges as a subset, focusing on algorithms that allow systems to learn and improve from experience without explicit programming. Machine learning employs statistical techniques to enable computers to learn from data. Diving deeper, we find deep learning a specialised subset of machine learning. Deep learning is inspired by the structure and function of the brain, using artificial neural networks with multiple layers to progressively extract higher-level features from raw input. This hierarchical structure, artificial intelligence at the top, encompassing machine learning, which in turn includes deep learning, represents a progression from general intelligent behaviour to more specific data-driven approaches, with each level building upon and refining the capabilities of the one above it. Machine learning is a field focused on teaching computers to learn from data, similar to how we teach a child to recognise different fruits by showing them examples. For instance, if you show a child pictures of apples, bananas and oranges, they eventually learn to identify these fruits independently. This process mirrors machine learning, where computers recognise patterns in data to make predictions or decisions. However, traditional machine learning relies heavily on human intervention. For example, we might guide the algorithm to focus on specific features like colour, shape and size, which aid in fruit recognition. These hand-picked features are crucial as machine learning algorithms depend on predefined characteristics to interpret the data. There are various machine learning algorithms designed to address different types of problems. Decision trees, for instance, utilize a flowchart-like structure where decisions are made based on features such as whether a fruit is red or round. Support vector machines work to find the optimal boundary between classes of data, such as apples and oranges, by emphasizing the most defining features of each category. K-nearest neighbors, a simpler algorithm, classifies new data points by examining the nearest labeled examples, akin to recognizing a new fruit by comparing it to familiar ones. Finally, Linear regression and logistic regression help model relationships between variables. With linear regression, predicting continuous values, like fruit weight, and logistic regression addressing classification tasks, like fruit type. In contrast, deep learning, a subset of machine learning, minimizes the need for human-guided feature selection by automating this process. If machine learning is like teaching a child to recognize simple fruits, Deep learning is like teaching them to recognize every ingredient in a complex dish just by looking at it. Unlike traditional methods that require explicit feature selection, deep learning algorithms utilize artificial neural networks to learn directly from raw data. These networks consist of multiple layers that collaboratively identify patterns similar to how the human brain processes information. Each layer in this network processes the information and passes it on to the next, allowing the system to understand intricate patterns and representations. This is why deep learning excels at tasks involving unstructured data like images, video or text. For example, when training a deep learning model to recognize fruits, the algorithm does not need detailed instructions about color or shape. Instead, it processes raw images. The initial layers detect basic features like edges, while the deeper layers combine these elements to develop a more comprehensive understanding of what characterizes an apple, banana or orange. Popular deep learning algorithms include convolutional neural networks, which excel at image recognition tasks. These networks process images by scanning them through multiple layers, identifying essential visual patterns such as contours, textures and shapes. This is similar to how a deep learning model distinguishes fruits from raw image data. Another prominent algorithm is the recurrent neural networks, which is utilized for sequential data like text or time series. RNNs retain information from previous inputs while processing new ones, 
making them ideal for tasks such as natural language processing and speech recognition. Long short-term memory networks are a specialised type of RNN designed to maintain long-term dependencies in data. This capability makes them particularly valuable for tasks requiring contextual understanding over time, such as language translation. Finally, generative adversarial networks consist of two competing neural networks and are often employed to generate realistic images or videos from scratch. Recent advancements in large language models, LLMs, are based on a modified recurrent neural network, RNN architecture, known as the transformer. Notable examples of these models include ChatGPT and Claude. Difference between machine learning and deep learning. Machine learning and deep learning both aim to learn from data to make predictions, but they differ significantly in their methodologies. Machine learning algorithms, such as decision trees, support vector machines, and k-nearest neighbors, rely on human input for selecting relevant features from the data. This approach makes them well suited for structured tasks that are relatively simple. In contrast, deep learning algorithms, including CNNs, RNNs, and LSTMs, automatically discover features from raw data, enabling them to handle more complex tasks, especially when dealing with large and unstructured datasets. A key distinction between the two is how they approach feature discovery. Machine learning can be compared to instructing a child to look for yellow curved objects to find bananas, where the features, colour and shape are explicitly provided. Deep learning, however, is more like allowing the child to figure out what makes a banana identifiable without being told. This ability to learn features autonomously is what allows deep learning to excel in more sophisticated tasks. Deep learning has been at the forefront of several technological breakthroughs. It has been instrumental in developing advanced image and facial recognition systems, speech recognition and natural language processing. It also plays a critical role in autonomous vehicles and in generating human-like text or artwork. These innovations highlight the transformative impact of deep learning across diverse fields. Despite its advantages, deep learning is not always the best option. It typically requires far more data and computational power than traditional machine learning methods. For many problems, especially those involving smaller data sets, traditional machine learning approaches can be more efficient and just as effective. Ultimately, the decision between machine learning and deep learning depends on the complexity of the problem, the nature of the data, and the available resources. In summary, machine learning and deep learning are closely related yet distinct in their complexity and approach to data processing. Machine learning encompasses a wide range of algorithms that learn patterns from data, often requiring human intervention for feature selection, and generally works well with smaller, structured datasets. Deep learning, a subset of machine learning, employs multi-layered neural networks that automatically discover important features and excel with large volumes of unstructured data. While deep learning has driven major advancements in fields like image recognition and natural language processing, it typically demands more data and computational power. The decision to use machine learning or deep learning depends on the nature of the problem, the size and type of data, and the desired accuracy, making this knowledge essential for aspiring data scientists and AI professionals in the evolving tech landscape. I hope I have answered the question clearly, precisely, and understandably. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.